Hey there, YouTube land. And yesterday I did one of my uh, a tag video that was uh, done from uh, Parson Burger, and it was like my 15 top screen factories. Maybe I should have waited. <coughs> so there's a lot of stuff that I'll get and I'll buy pre-order. I'll grab it right at the gate. And there's other times when you realize that the film that you want is attached to an upcoming other film. <clears throat> and unless you want the poster, maybe you're going to wait. Because, uh, basically, <clears throat> the way it usually works here, especially with Amazon, if there's a, a movie coming out that's tied into a movie that you're getting, well, let's say the remake, I don't know, uh, Wolf Cop down the road. And uh, you're like, I totally got to go and get the this new Blu-ray edition of like Wolf Cop, like 15 years ago. It's got a new special Screen Factor edition. It's a classic now. You know, well, whatever. <clears throat> but uh, and you go and you pre-order it. You pre-order for like the full price. You go, you grab it. You don't want the poster. So you're gonna get it from Amazon or whatever. And then you realize that uh, the movie's coming in. Uh, you probably just got it. And usually Amazon lowers the price on that uh, particular Blu-ray or DVD during the time the movie comes out. It's kind of a promotion for the film type of thing. So, uh, sometimes it pays to wait. Good for me this time, man, because I really wanted this one here. My better half got it for me. So she's good at picking up the deals and stuff like that. And that would be Mad Max. I, uh, love this movie. This one here has always been, like, a big one for me. I, everybody, like, talks about Road Warrior. Some people even beyond Thunderdome because the Tina Turner thing, the video is really cool. You know, we don't need another hero. But uh, Mad Max has always been the one that I've loved the most. When you watch Mad Max, and then you go and you watch the other films, it's almost like it's a completely different thing. It's a completely different franchise. And why? Because, well, the original Mad Max, you know, all those kind of set in a dystopian type of future, it was a revenge film. At the end of the day, it was like, that's what it was. It was a revenge film. These guys, really nasty guys. And it could have been set anywhere. i got to keep the sticker because I'm not being a big freak for those things. Uh, it was set it was set there, but it was at the end of the day he, a good cop something horrible happens to him and he uh, decides to like get Mona and every one of them that did it and that's what it's, that's basically what it is so what we got here is a, a special feature I'll we'll show you the back right now so I'll leave it there just in case you want to like stick and watch that and read it yourself, but I'll read it anyway uh, new interviews with Mel Gibson, Joanne Summel, uh, Samuel, and director of photography David Egby, audio commentary of art director John Dowding, director of photography David Egby, special effects artist Chris Murray and Tim Ridge. Mel Gibson, Birth of a Superstar, Mad Max, The Film Phenomenon, tactical trailers, TV spots, and photo gallery. And of course, it's in a brand new Blu ray, you know, HD edition. So we'll open it up. And this is the cover, the new cover. Of course, I always switch the cover around. Uh, so first, let's show you this. This has a very actually this Blu-ray case is actually kind of cool. See the the Blu-ray there? Yeah, it, it does have kind of a, uh, a feel to it, sort of a an Australian ausplantation type of feel. Which is this is? This is an ausplantation film. The uh, Mel Gibson's voice was dubbed in the uh, you think in the American version of that when it came out because. Uh, I don't know, they thought the Australian accent would be too hard to understand. Uh, I do not know. <clears throat> so this is the original cover to Mad Max, the one that I remember when I saw it in a, back in the day. It's kind of cool, different faces hidden in this one here. I do love this. I do love them both, actually, so I will have both of them kind of like with the ability to be displayed. Uh, here's the back cover for this one here. As you can see, the picture is actually different. Kind of get used to that, like, it's a reversible thing. Um, and it has a really cool, this like, it's got a really cool, almost like a, I'm not sure if it's a washed out kind of like, kind of like early 80s like type of, of vibe to it. The colors are kind of muted on this one here. You know where the colors kind of pop here. You know, there's like a, it's, you got more of like a, a muted faded color here which I really kind of dig kind of like almost like a watercolor type of thing going on uh, 
I'm guessing my uh, my friends that uh, are more to art than I am are no more that I did go to art school, but uh, I didn't finish art school. I would like really be able to like break this down, do a really good analysis of this. This is a very kind of unique, different art style, which I really enjoy. Who did the art on this one again? Is this Bisley? Uh, just some incredible stuff. Anyway, uh, Mad Max, not beyond Thunderdome. Way before he was a road warrior, Mad Max was a cop. I just couldn't take it anymore. In a society that had done him wrong. Mad Max, my latest Scream Factor edition. Proud to have this one. Gonna watch this one probably uh, on my own because of. To be honest, I don't think my better house is going to watch this. This is a pretty brutal film. She did watch it back in the day, but uh, the uh, what happens to the wife and kids is a, it's pretty harsh. But uh, it's it suits the uh, kind of tone of the film. It's really really great. There's the uh, motorcycle gang, and I'm playing them. It's Bisley, right? Uh, you got Bisley, John Samuel, you Keys Burn. Uh, just you know, a crap load of people. It was. It was kind of like one of those, uh, I'm a big Warlord fan, and a big fan of like the old kind of like uh, futuristic comic type of thing. And uh, this kind of has that feel to it. It has a kind of a comic booky type feel. George Miller did it. George Miller did the new one. Go see the new one. I hear great, great things about it. I have not yet seen it. I have to go see it. It is supposed to be like an amazing, amazing action film. I like all the Mad Max films. I did like Road Warrior. I did like Beyond Thunderdome. I thought it was fun. I, was it as good as the other ones? No, but it was still fun. It was still good. It was still way better than a lot of the movies that were being done at that time. That being said, I do like the simplistic revenge motif of Mad Max. The two favorite books that I've ever read are The Count of Monte Cristo and Dangerous Liaisons. So, that'll give you a little bit about my psyche right there. Thanks for watching, guys. For me right now, as you can see, as you know, you probably can't say though. See this? This is a shame to humanity. This is an empty teacup. So for me right now, it's time for tea. Say hello to the great pin lord in the sky, his phantom friend. And uh, for me right now, i got a 10 kilometer walk coming up, so it's time for tea.